Okay, let's go on to the movers and levels. Right, well, um, it's all about Apple, I think. You know, the, the press is certainly, and I'm sure much of, much of the market action this afternoon will be. Um, $1.2303, uh, they traded uh, in the pre-market down some 5.9%. Well, they had been lower at one point. About $66 billion had been wiped off of the valuation. Um, earnings beat, but the guidance was lower, it was weaker, and, and, the, and iPhone sales were, were disappointed. And as you rightly pointed out, they... They did try and, and cover up uh, the lacklustre performance of the watch. So, uh, yeah, they're not, not in investors' good books today. <laughs> I said uh, it was a good start. Well, which is nothing, which, is, which sounds very limp indeed. But anyway, the, yeah. uh, uh, their competitor also not doing very well. No, Microsoft, um, that's ticker MSFT, $45.30 pre market, down 4.2%. Uh, they lowered their revenue guidance by around 10%, and uh, they took a, an actual loss. Uh, be, mostly due to those huge write-offs against Nokia. Against Nokia, yeah, about $7 billion, if memory serves, that they wrote down on the uh, on the mobile phone acquisition. So, uh, yeah, um, not a good day in uh, in the world of tech. Um, in terms of levels to watch here uh, on equities and uh, and currency pairs, first of all, staying in Europe with a FTSE, 66.90 uh, is our new downside level place, 67.70. European markets are a bit easier for choice today. And the DAX has come back uh, quite hard as well. So we're now looking at 11,500 on the downside, plays 11,610 uh, to the upside. Just want to point out that, the, that the, the price move today has seen the DAX fill one or two of those gaps that it's left yeah. behind. And there's, as I said, there's, there's plenty more further down, so we may see some more of that to come. Um, and the S&P, 2115, plays 2130. And in the Dow, 17,870, plays 17,940. Again, we're really searching for directional cues for the two US indices. Um, in the Euro, we saw a dollar weakness yesterday, so a Euro rally. So we're back to 109.03 uh, on the downside for the Euro, plays 109.60 to the upside. Aussie dollar, not much change from yesterday. 73.90 to the downside, plays 74.30 to the upside. Uh, in dollar yen, uh, again, just a slight change to the range, but 123.50 on the downside, plays 124.12 to the upside. And cable, a little bit better, but not flying out of the traps, as you might expect with Mr. Carney's comments again yesterday. So 155.77 on the downside and 156.27 to the upside.